All right, guys, welcome to episode 179 of Dope Talk TV. Is yours truly low key? Got John here with me, and we're back with another one. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, go over to Patreon, check us out over there, get yourself some merch if you haven't done so already. And uh, yeah, man. Tell somebody you love them, but we're back. Yeah. We're fucking back. How we feeling, Johnny? How we feeling? How I didn't know feeling? if we were leaving, if we were going. I don't know. I don't know what's going on, bro. I just know I'm high as fuck, guys. I'm litty titty. I feel like it was already I'm the lit. ending. It's this the ending. We started. <laughs> bibbidi bobbidi. We go. Have a good day. I was day. like, whoa. Where the fuck are we going? <laughs> oh, shit, man. Nah, man. Yeah, it's been a fucking good week, brother. How about you, man? What's it's going on? It's been a good week, man. It's been a good week, bro. You know? Making little investments here and there towards things that I want to invest into. Went out and bought me a PC and shit like that, man. Fucking, it's going to change the gaming, you know, the gaming experience and all that good shit once I get this channel going. I'll let y'all know once I do. Drop the link in the description and shit. But, yeah, that's about it, man. Just working on certain shit. What about you, bro? I know my dog been putting in that work, dog. Man, you know, I'm just trying to fucking challenge myself. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've been feeling super uncomfortable lately, but, you know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to accomplish certain things. Yeah. You know what I mean? And with, comf- it, with with being uncomfortable comes growth, bro. Yeah. You grow. That's how you grow. So I've been feeling good, but it's like good anxiety. You know what I'm saying? It's not like bad anxiety because mm-hmm. good anxiety is when you want to be there. If that makes yeah, sense, you know? Bad anxiety is when you are there. Yeah, you yeah. are there and you don't want to be there. And you're like, yeah. fuck. <laughs> oh, man. Nah, that's when you just got to challenge yourself, but... You got it, bro. You got this shit, man. It's, it's all for the betterment of your fucking life. You know what I'm saying? And that's what everybody should strive to do. You know what I'm saying? In your own way, however you see fit. You know, when you change, you should change for the better. You know what I mean? Yeah. Straight up. That Straight ass. up. But yeah, man, a fucking... A lot of shit's been going on, too. Some weird shit. You a lot heard about, of gang shit? Nah, nah. This ain't no gang <laughs> shit. This is kind of some weird shit. What's to going be honest, on, man. R- Ricky Martin, man. Okay, you ba, said ba, Ricky Martin. Ba, 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 dun, dun. Yo, you're you talking about the guy that got his... He has test two babies, bro. No offense to them. Was that Ricky Martin? Yeah, it was. Yeah, it is Ricky Martin. Okay. So Did what's going on with him? Um, so <laughs> he's reportedly facing 50 years in prison. According to reports, pop star Ricky Martin is facing up to 50 years for alleged domestic violence and incest with his nephew. Wow. As reported on Friday, I guess his 21-year-old nephew, Dennis Yadier Sanchez, would introduce incest into the case of Puerto Rico. Ricky is set to attend court on July 21st. He said that he ended the seventh-month relationship with the singer, and apparently he just didn't want to end it with his, with his nephew. Yeah, I don't I was understand like, what's going on. So his nephew was down with it. Yeah. So his nephew was down with it, and then now he's trying to sue him. That makes no sense. Yeah, I, that I, sounds fishy already. No, to me. Yeah. I don't know about you guys, but no, I, no, thinking no. logically, it's like, wait, so that sounded bad from the start, right? Because it's like, damn, he's you know, I mean, he's so like you're fucking, you're fucking your nephew, nephew or whatever, but. That's fucking wrong, guys. Don't fuck your nephews, all right? Yeah, but yeah, it's like, yeah. but you that's were what down they were with it, cho- Yeah, if you're an adult and that's what you chose to do, how are you going to turn around and sue if him you, for If enough? he raped you, then it's a different story. Yeah, that's different. If he was molesting you when you were underage or something like that, like, maybe that's what he means. I don't know. I would need a little bit more information on that. But yeah. But just by hearing what you read, listen, man. Yeah, it's it, go weird, bo- Ricky. It, it could go one or two ways. If you did that shit, Ricky Martin, you're a sick fuck. You know what I'm saying? If, if you're like molesting your, your, I'm pretty sure he did it. Your nephew or whatever. But if it's like the nephew, like was down with it, and then like now you're trying to fucking turn on him, like that's wrong on the nephew's part, in my opinion. The incest part, that's for your moral compass. In my moral compass, that's just wrong as fuck. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Incest should never. Like you, you shouldn't do that. That's you know what I mean. That's like wild. that was what they used to do way back in when you know what I'm saying before there was electricity and it's all like types of shit. The hills have like, eyes. You ever seen that? They're like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm nah, real you. shit. Like that shit's not to me, bro. That's not that's not acceptable in my eyes. But I don't know, man. That sounds fishy. <laughs> my the cousin, whole situation sounds fishy. My cousin, like, we all yeah. knew that Ricky Martin swung a certain way. Like let's be honest, bro. We're not. Ain't nobody fucking stupid. Yeah, you know what I'm saying stupid. But ain't nobody stupid. But nah, real shit. Like I don't know. That sounds fishy. Hopefully <laughs> they get it figured out. God bless. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's my, what I can say. Nah, they're gonna lock your ass up <laughs> because first off, you're you get treated differently, bro, when you're a superstar. Yeah, but you also have the money for the best lawyers. On exactly. Earth. 
That is true. You know what I'm saying? I really feel like the only reason that R. Kelly didn't beat his case is because he had too many people. <laughs> there was he way too many, too many people. Yeah, it was too many people. If it would have been like one girl after all this time, that he would have had the money to beat that. Yeah. Let's be real. Like he yeah. would have had the money to beat it's that. It's too much, too many people. Too yeah, many it's, people. Too, it's too much. But with Ricky Martin, I don't know. He might have the money to beat it. It might be all bullshit. Who knows? Who really knows what's going on in that situation? It sounds like. It sounds like a love quarrel to me. An incest love quarrel. <laughs> Straight up. Nah, for real. Straight up. That was I, that's that's just weird to me, man. I I couldn't believe it. When I saw that, I was like, nah, what bro. the hell? And, but, bro, it's stories like that that make me want to give a huge fucking round of applause to people like Andrew Tate, man. Round of applause to Andrew Tate, bro. You know what I'm saying? Not too long ago, rest in peace, we lost Kevin Samuels, and he was spreading the same message. Now we have Andrew Tate. You know what I'm saying? He's spreading the same message in a different way. He's a little bit more abrupt with it. Yeah. But I agree with like 95% of the shit that he says. You know what I'm saying? Like that nigga, you know what I'm saying? I just agree with a lot of what he says at the end of the day. And um, you got to listen to successful people, bro. When somebody's successful, bro, when they could go buy a Bugatti, like outright. Yeah. And they're telling you like, yo, bro, like maybe you should do this. Maybe you should do that. Maybe you should listen. You know what I'm saying? Like, maybe you should fucking listen. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, there, he said some real ass shit the other day, man. And I was just like, he's like, why Why are you friends with females? What's the point of being a, being friends with females? What is mm-hmm. the point? If, if we're not fucking, if we're not, if you're, you just want my attention. Yeah, he my said, money you, you, or my meals, whatever the fuck it is. This is something I had to learn, bro. I, like, like, recently, mm-hmm. I'm like, man, it makes so much sense. Women will literally use you just for attention. Yeah. Just a for lot attention. Of, a lot of women come and get the attention from you when they're not getting it from somewhere like else. Like they could, yeah, exactly. Like they could be in a relationship with somebody, but the boyfriend isn't going to be texting her all day. And it's mm-hmm. true because I've been in situations like that where it's like I'm already smashing you. I don't need to keep texting you and giving you the attention, right? So you don't right. really like it. Just that's the position. I've been in both sides, so it's like I put two and two together. I was like, man, that is so true, brother. And I literally stopped giving the attention to the women that. I used to, and they go crazy. Yeah. It, it drives them nuts. We're like, oh my god! He, like, did he they're find? Too, did he, they're too used to it. Yeah. They're like spoiled little brats. Yeah. It's did, like you get it your some, whole life, yeah. and then once you don't get it, then it it, it bothers you. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, and they're, and they're like, it's like the spoiled princess complex or some shit like that. Women like, don't like the fact that you will find something else better. They don't yeah. like that. They, or it, that it, it might just not even be the fact that you found something better. They don't like the fact that they're not the prize anymore. Exactly. Yeah. That's a, like yeah. you might not even have another girl, but it's like the fact that you're not paying it. It's like, yo, like I'm, I'm done. I'm past that. Now like, they it's don't like, even hey, want to be with you. They don't even want nothing to do, with, which like is women wild. Are, women are more territorial than guys. Bro. Yeah. Yeah. Straight that's up. That's what it is. That's why like, like women are, they're just like more sneaky with the shit. You know what I mean? Like it's more personal when a, when a girl fucks another girl's like, make like, it make sense. Or some shit. Like, like make it make sense. Two girls. Both in relationships, right? Don't want to be with me, mm-hmm. but they're territorial about me. Yeah. So it, it like they don't want to fuck me. They just they just want to be the prize. Exactly what you said. They just want to be the prize, and they want the attention to themselves. Hey, you know that's what I'm saying? How I go which is wild. Which is crazy to me. So when you understand the woman's nature and and how they think, it's like wow, that is. Beyond toxic, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's di- it's different with that. I mean, yeah. men are toxic as fuck too. We're it just is all toxic in different ways, bro. But so, but the women, way- women are like they're just more territorial. It, but when from it comes the past guys. 30, 40 years, it's been changing. Like into that, into mm-hmm. like the way women think, and it, like Andrew said, he's yeah, like, nah, he's like, this new. is this is this, this is, is a new, new thing. Yeah, it is. Like, it is, bro. New. Like back in the day, it was different, and it's like maybe everything shouldn't be fucking modernized. Like everything shouldn't be like, not all things need to be fixed. Some things are are good the way they are. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not talking about the oppressing women and this and that because that shit is like, there was an era where the oppression was real. But that's why I look at the women from nowadays and I laugh because it's like y'all aren't really oppressed, bro. You just don't know what the fuck you want, so you lash out at the world. That's how I feel. A lot of women don't know what the fuck they want, so they blame the man. The man knows what the fuck he wants, bitch. You don't know what the fuck you want. Yeah. Because you talk about you want a good man, but you get him, and then they're too boring, or they're too this, they're too that. You know what I'm saying? There's not, like, women, to me, like, women are never, you can never really please them. 
And he some go, f- for some, and you know he goes. He like, just speaks a lot of sh- he he speaks a lot of facts, and then he's like, you know why men kill themselves? You want to know why? Is because we have to be smart. We have to be charming. We have to be rich. We have to be a lot of different yeah, things to be facts. to be interesting in this world. We have to have good stories. We have to mm-hmm. go through a lot of stuff positive. You know, there's a certain standard to be a man in this world. You or know, be and, considered and, a man of value. Yeah, exactly, a man of value. That's exactly what he was saying. And he's like, what do women do? Just look pretty. Yeah, no, it's it's true, bro. It's Just, true. It, I mean, it's the harsh truth. It it really is. Like he's like, I was sitting here with a guy that worked his whole fucking time, his whole entire life to be sitting on this hundred million dollar yacht. Mm-hmm. And all he had to do was, he was just with, you know, 19 year olds and 20 year olds. What they do? Nothing. They're just fucking there, man. You know what I mean? It's because they're, she's pretty. That's it. That's it. That's all you have to do. Put a little bit, bit of makeup. And it's like, wow. And it's the truth. That is the harsh truth in this world. Yeah, bro. But I mean, to play devil's advocate, I can see how women could be like, yo, bro, you're talking about a very small percent of women. Because it's the same yeah. thing. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The most beautiful women on earth, bro, there's they get treated a small like- percent of women. It's like, it's the same thing, vice versa. It's like the women that talk about how men have all the power and mm-hmm. men are oppressing women. He mentioned this too, bro. It's like, bro, like most men don't have fucking power. Most men are in, sh- in shitty marriages. They get no sex from their wife. They can't see their kids. They lose the house after they get divorced. Like most men don't have the power that women are talking about. They're talking about a very small percent of men. Same thing with the women. That's a very small percent of women. Like the women that are like 10 out of 10, like she looks like magazine ready. That's a small percent of women, bro. You're not going to find that at, at just any corner. You know what I'm saying? And that's why they get to be at a $100 million yacht at 20 because you're the 1% of females that look like this. So, of course, we want you here. You yep. know what I'm saying? But it's just you got to put shit all into perspective, man. Like, you could work on yourself, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, you could, you could always work on yourself and make yourself better. And he's you know like, I mean? he's like, you could be, and he's like, even if you're an ugly bitch. He's like, even if you're an ugly bitch, a nigga will still try to try to hit that. And it's That's true. I've facts, seen bro. I've seen it it's with my facts, own eyes, bro. bro. I've it's seen it facts, with my own yeah. I've seen it. And it's just like guys, us guys will hit anything. We will. Nah, yeah, bro. You put enough <laughs> you put enough alcohol into some niggas, they'll hit a fucking wall, bro. Like uh, <laughs> like you could be the ugliest girl and, and a guy will still fucking want you. You know what I'm saying? And it's the truth. Like he's like, yo, like you go to the bar, you still get shagged. Mm-hmm. Us guys, it's harder to 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 he feels like it's easier for women to get to move on quicker to get another partner in their life. For us men, it takes a little bit of time for us, you know. And yeah, he's like, it's true. Hey, yeah, you know. But that's because, like, going back to what he said again, bro. Like, you gotta have, you gotta be, you gotta have money, and you gotta be charming, and you gotta have stories, and you gotta be interesting. And you can't be boring, and like, it, it's got, it's all these things that you that you have, have to, to have be. as a man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You like. But at the end of the day, that should just drive you. You know what I mean? Like yeah, you should, it drives you. Yeah. Just let it drive you, bro, and let it build you. Because he said it in a motivational way, too. You like, know if you look at him when he was, like, for example, when he was, like, my age, he, he said that that's when he first started really making money. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was broke for a long time. And I feel like that's a process that it helps you if you let it. Yeah. If you just bitch about it the whole fucking time, then of course it's going to be miserable. But it's like if you really just learn how to maneuver through bills and through life and through certain things that you're going to have to take care of anyway, you know what I'm saying? Like it just becomes easier along the way. You know what I mean? Like it just, it, it keeps coming, it keeps coming. And then you start seeing like, man, this shit might not be that crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like and you just build on it. You learn how to, you learn how to do shit better. You, it's just, it comes with time, bro. The shit comes with time. But, that should be the goal, man. Shout out Andrew Tate one more time, man. Yeah, Round of Andrew, applause Andrew for that Tate, fucking guy. Man. That nigga, like, I, I'd chill with him, bro. You can tell he's a cool dude. <laughs> Kevin like, said, Kevin said that it, it's me and him because Kevin is a little bit taller <laughs> with the hair and shit. And then, like, I'm, like, fucking bald with the beard. Nah, bro. I'm just he, like, bro. He's fucking, that nigga, that, he's lived a good life, though. Like, he's lived a life where it's like he's had to do some shit, but yeah. he, at the same time, you know what I'm saying? That nigga sold drugs. He's been almost stabbed. Like, he's had to do some <laughs> shit. For real. Like, and that's what I mean. Like, I, those are the stories that people are like, oh, my God, what the fuck? If you tell a nigga, like, yeah, bro, I just went to college and just, like, built computers the whole time. It's like, it's cool, but yeah, it's like, yeah. I hear you, dog. No, nah, but you really came up, though. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, I remember nah, there was like, a video of him, like, finessing this girl. He was really, yeah. he had money. <laughs> <laughs> and, she, and he's like, you know, like, at the end of the video, he's just like, yeah, man, I acted broken. Look at me. I'm saving fucking 200 bucks. And uh, she doesn't know I have a fucking half a million in that suitcase. Yeah, and guess bro. what? She's paying for it. Facts. So guess who's winning here? 
Yo, bro, listen, man. Just because you got it don't gotta mean don't mean you got to spend it, bro. Yeah. I've been saying that a lot more lately. Just because you got it don't mean you got to spend it, bro. Like, save money, man. Like, it. the thing is, people will tell you not to save your money. They'll be like, oh, don't save money. It's not about not saving money. It's about saving money and then investing it. If you just save money to save money, most likely that money is just going to sit there. It's not going to grow. Yeah, it's going to It's going to grow little by little by you saving it. But yeah. it's like, nigga, if you just save money, it's different than if you save the money and then put it into an investment. Yeah, you know and then saying? you don't have to like really put in the work. It's just you use that as a tool, and then you just see the money come back mm-hmm. even more in, in a higher quantity. You know what I mean? And then instead of just literally doing, oh, you know, a hundred dollars here, hundred dollars mm-hmm. here, it takes time. Yeah, yeah, yeah I see what you're saying. No, nah, you're absolutely right though about that. Like, bro, it. Listen, man, you got to bet on yourself, dog. At the end of the day, you got to bet on yourself, and that's what it comes down to. A lot of people aren't willing to bet on themselves. They're not willing to put their their money where their mouth is. And it's like, listen, man, like, that's the number one thing you that you got to be willing to do is believe in whatever the fuck it is that you're going for. You know what I mean? And if you don't believe in it, most people that don't believe in it for real, they're not willing to put that money behind it. Yeah. They see it as an expense more than as an investment. And you know what's crazy is that this is going to go off a little bit topic here, but... I know some people that think like, hey, you know, I come up with a really good idea. You know what I'm saying? The people like, let's say like Elon Musk, for example, Elon Musk, he didn't create Tesla. Someone Mm -hmm. took the idea. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Some people think like that can't happen to them. And it's like, bro, like some people will just use you for your idea and just run with it. Yeah, that's facts. That's why you got to be careful who who the fuck you hang around with. Like it's happened to us. It's yeah. happened to me specifically where it's like, yeah, I know you talk about certain, certain business moves with certain people, bro. And then before you know it, bro, they're like, or even like a company, they're like doing it without you. And it's yeah. like, it's it's like, listen, bro, it's cool. But God works. God works, bro. Just know that. You know what I'm saying? And it's like when you try to do things in a, in a sneaky conniving way, bro, I don't have to do nothing. The universe will take care of that. Yeah. In one way, shape or another. You know what I'm saying? But but ultimately, yeah, it's true. Like some people will just be around you for, some people will be around you for your ideas. Some people will be around you for your energy. Some people will be around you for the connections that you have. Some people will be around you for m- different reasons. And we've talked about it. You just got to decipher who's who. Yeah. And that's where the acquaintances and the friendship that we've talked about before comes in. Some people are your friends. Some people are just people you know. Some people are business associates. Some people, you know what I'm saying? Like you can't put everybody in the same category. Mm-hmm. But. You know where we could put some people in, a, in the same category is NYPD. NYPD, man. They're Listen, in the same bro. category as us now, boys. A round of applause round of a to the applause. NYPD, bro. They're able to smoke now. And I say, God bless. Thank you. It's about time because y'all niggas need to calm down, bro. <laughs> y'all, no bro, I heard NYPD's like a gang. Oh, no, no, no. They run shit. Like, like, they're, like, they, be, they, like they be fucking running shit over there. Listen, man, corruption runs deep everywhere in this country. There's police forces that are being paid off by fucking drug dealers. There's, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's shit that goes on behind the scenes, and it always has, and it always will. Yeah, that will never stop. But at the end of the day, bro, it's like... It's a sad world, though. I feel like for the cops that are in that life really just trying to be cops, it's a good thing to be able to go home after a a day and fucking smoke a joint. Yeah. That might help you not come back the next day fucked up and like ready to shoot a nigga. Yeah. Or even be put on medication, PTSD, you know, certain things. Maybe you, Mm -hmm. it'll help you out. You know what I'm saying? I I feel like, yeah, I feel like that's a good thing. Cause you see some shit. That's a good thing for the most part, bro. Like it's a good thing, man, because there's a lot of people out here, bro, that if it weren't for the herb and the flower, bro, they would be flying off the handle. And it's like, you can't expect a cop. A cop is a human. He sees more shit. He deals with more crazy shit than the normal fucking person. Yep. Seeing the bad side of fucking life as a cop. Yeah, there's so many nasty so things like, that why, they like, see. They should be able to go home and smoke. Smoke yeah. and relax, nigga. De- decompress. They see go bodies on the side bro. of the street. They see yeah. bodies on the side of the street. They fucking... That they, shit ain't cool, bro. Yeah, they, I, they, imagine they, fucking pulling up to a scene where there's like... A whole shootout. There's three dead you, bodies. Two other got, people. You got to go to. Yeah, and you got to go to a fucking become the shootout. Sometimes. Yeah, so you got to like, run it, up and shoot it there. out with niggas. Like, nah, yeah, bro. Like, you nah. should be able to go home and smoke a blunt. 
<laughs> if you had a day like that, you, you should be able to go. Bro, I just had blood. fucking three bullets pass by my head, bro. <laughs> I can't smoke after this. Nah. Are you kidding me? No, I'm gonna yeah. smoke after this. I'm pretty the sure there are. There's cops that smoke weed. I don't Nigga, care what there's anybody. There's cops that do a lot of shit. Bro. Yeah, like people are people. You can't. Ex- there's cops that smoke. There's cops that snort. There's cops that that drink on the job. They're like. There's different types of people, you know what I'm saying? And you can't expect people to just be perfect just because they, they have a certain position in society. Like, I never looked at it that way. That's why a badge don't fucking scare me, bro. Like, you're human under that uniform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a normal like, you're dude. You're human under that uniform. You're a normal like, dude. You, you have authority while you have that badge on and you're allowed to be on the, on the clock. As soon as you clock out, bro, you have the same rights as every other civilian out here. And guess what? Every other civilian out here pays you. Yep. Because you're paid through the taxpayers. Yep. So it's like, I don't know, bro, but good for them, man. Good Round for them, applause man. Again. Good for y'all, man. Hopefully you can smoke a fucking joint and stop frisking motherfuckers every goddamn corner you turn. Yeah, Holy man. Shit. What the hell, bro? Go eat a donut. Go fucking. That's nah, crazy to me, bro. Imagine, be, imagine walking down the street, bro, and a cop is legally allowed to just stop and frisk you. Legally allowed to just be like, hey, stop. You ain't going nowhere. What's in your pockets? Turn around. Let me see if you got a gun. That's how it is in New York? Yeah, bro. That stop and frisk law shit is like, that's how I, it is. I never do that. Stop and frisk, bro. I'm wow. telling you, like, that's crazy. Yo, that's, so like, like, that's like that's like over the top government. Bro, nah, nigga. You ain't checking me, bro. Damn, I thought I'm that saying, was everywhere. T- nah, that's not like that everywhere. It ain't like that here. A cop can't just fucking stop you and search you I for know, no reason. I, yeah, you I know. That's I mean? my point. I thought it was like here. Everywhere else. Nah, hell nah, bro. In Florida, bro, we live in a good state when it comes to certain things, bro. Wow. I, wow. Shout out to Florida. Yeah, shout out to Florida. We don't I didn't know de- that. We don't got to deal with shit like that, bro. But Man, yeah, like. You learn something new every day. In Flo- Over here, bro, they better have a reason. You better have, you. they better suspect you of a crime. If not, nigga, they, the whole department could get sued. Like, it's not, it's not like that, bro. We, we have rights down here. And that's why it's like. I like Florida. I've said it before, bro. Florida has some of the best, like, gun laws, some of the best, you know, home defense laws. In New York, nigga, if you shoot somebody that broke into your crib, you can still go to prison. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah, that is. Like, you telling me, nigga, that I had to let him shoot me for me to be able to shoot him? Yeah, they're going to they're nah, gonna investigate bro. each bullet that came out the barrel, which is wild. these nuts, That's nigga. wild That's to what me. Like, all right, so you shot this guy, and it hit him in the chest, so that was good. But then, like, what would about this shot? You know what I mean? And it's like, really, bro? Like, what about this shot? Bro, how about you come? How about no. how about we switch places and tell me what you would do? How I'm, about that? Yeah, I'm glad we live in a in a, like, in a in a fucking hold your ground state, bro. Because that's just crazy. I couldn't imagine a nigga running into my house trying to take some shit or take my life. You don't know what he's doing. He could be on drugs. He could be, have a gun. He could have a knife. Whatever he got. It's like you're not in here for nothing good. You know and what's I crazy? Can't fucking shoot him, shoot him, or shoot at him to get him out of my house. You crazy as fuck. Nah, bro. It's like that video you sent me of the kids. Yeah. Yeah, he, the kids that tried to like, break in, and the cop was like, nah, this person isn't getting in trouble. Yeah. Those three people, one of them pulled out a gun. They were trying to fucking run in his house, and he shot at them. Yeah. Luckily, they didn't get hit. Luckily. Yeah. Luckily, they didn't get hit. But if they would have got hit, nigga, that's on you. Yeah. You're at my fucking house playing around trying to rob me, bro. Yeah, no, nah, man. Like, nah, like, nigga. It's, like, you, it's, you gotta defend even, yourself as a man. Yeah, it's not even the fact about any of the stuff. Like, if, you know what I'm saying? Not being materialistic and shit. You know, it's about literally coming to my place where I sleep. Bro. And you're literally, like, intruding and you're invading my space, my yeah, personal this space. This is my home, nigga. This is yeah. where, like, I lay my head at. Or, you know, if you have kids or wife, wherever, that's your home, dog. Yeah, bro. And you got to set the example. Like, to me, bro, it's shoot first, ask questions later. Yeah, Like, I'm in sorry. a situation like that, you got to set the example for everybody around you. You run in this motherfucking house, bro, I'm going to blow you right back out the fucking door that you ran in. Yep. I'm going to blow you right into the fucking street, bro. Yep. No cap. Like, you know what's crazy, though? What I saw the other day? This motherfucker was eating a wiener <laughs> on Sports Center. <laughs> Yeah, let's get into this shit. Let's talk about this, bro, because this is fucking crazy to me. This guy sent me a video, and I didn't know exactly what the fuck I was watching. I don't even think I reacted to it because I'm like, what the fuck is going on? It's just some fat-ass dude chugging, like, two gallons of fucking lemonade. Yeah, a gallon a of lemonade in, like, in like fucking 50 seconds. And I'm just and I was watching like, it, and I'm like, okay, Center. I'm like, okay, whatever. They're fucking, he's chugging gallons of fucking I think- lemonade. But when this guy told me that that was on sports Center, 
I think you found a new fucking career. I said no cap, bro. I think I think I done found my motherfucking job, this bro. Guy, I think I done fucked around and found what I'm really going to be good at in life, dog. Hop on ESPN, bro, and just <laughs> chug chug a whole gallon and a half of fucking lemonade. Throw yeah. that shit right back up on the fucking bro, stage. Bro, the way that he fucking... <laughs> bro, the way that nah. he looked after he drank that whole gallon, I was like... Bro, he's unhealthy as fuck. I'm bro, sorry. He, that he guy, got diabetes he, and one sip. Diabetes. <laughs> yeah. Bro, that nigga... Bro, he has no longer than six months left. No, that bro. nigga is <laughs> fucked, bro. How if that's what you do? This for is on fun? Sports Center, and it's ridiculous. What if this guy dies? He's gonna go down in history for being the wiener man. They're professional fucking like food eaters and drinkers. I don't know exactly their term, but there's like a whole community that like watches that, and they have like fan bases and shit. I mean, that's that's crazy to me, bro. I'm just sitting here talking shit, but bro, like I could, I can't watch shit like that, bro. I can't do that, nigga. You try yeah. to eat 17 hot dogs in 45 seconds? Fuck you. Yeah, nah. <laughs> nah, I ain't doing. I'm gonna watch you do it. <laughs> it's gonna be entertaining. I'm gonna sit here and watch this fat nah, fuck. see that? He's part of the fucking problem. This is why these fucking kids are gonna be 600 pounds by the time they're 12. Like in Squid Games. I'm Ga trying to be like fucking yeah. Big Jim on like ESPN. Squid Games. It's basically Squid Games. I'm watching this guy, two men fucking kill themselves nah, and i'm saying here yeah that's why that's how it is though. no listen listen bro this whole thing bro we're joking about it but to me bro it's very de detrimental to our society bro for real like you would never see that on tv in a sports fucking Center. broadcast uh, nathan's i don't even think it was you nathan's, wouldn't see but, that in in, uh, the, in europe you wouldn't see that in any other part of the world because it's like bro that's stupid only america would champion and make a super fat nigga an athlete just because he could eat really that's quick. what that's what that's you want to be that's what you want the world to know you as oh my gosh you bro. bubble Nah, you, he's making bread though. I, I'm not gonna no, lie. I mean, been, Cause I'm not gonna lie. I've seen that guy on YouTube before, and his videos. He's been doing that shit for years. One extra wiener, and you you might pop your fucking <laughs> uterus. I don't know. <laughs> One more wiener, dog. Yeah. Nah, bro. Fuck that. You're fucking like, We, we got to do better as a society. Like I'm not the most in shape nigga, but bro, I don't support obese people just eating for sport, being supported as a real sport. I don't. I can't. <laughs> I'll watch UFC. I'll watch kickboxing. Nah, I'll watch real sports. But nigga, you crazy as fuck if you think I'm gonna look at that as a sport. Like nah, bro, nah, like come it's on. It's hard bro. to do. I'm like, not saying it's easy. And anybody showing, can do it. Imagine just having your guest over and you got the hall, your Hall of Fame. You know your gold medals and shit. And they're thinking like you're, you ran a, a marathon, you know. And you over imagine there and coming and back and you sweating. read that and you read that little medal and it's like a fucking wiener on and the medal. That, number one wiener. <laughs> <Yeah. Yo. laughs> like, nah, what? listen, bro. Fuck that. Imagine know. seeing a nigga come back to the dressing room sweaty as fuck. You're like, damn, bro, you put in work. Nah, I just drank three gallons of fucking lemonade back. To back, I'm bro, sweating. I my <laughs> stomach hurts when I just drink what like a lot of lemonade. Bro, my kidding, stomach bro. hurts, bro. I will <laughs> shit myself on that stage, bro. bro. I be praying like ah, uh, because it hurts, man. For something I don't know, something yeah, about bro, lemonade. Because you can't put so much shit in your fucking stomach. Yeah, Yo, your stomach is only so big, dog. That's, a, that's why when you eat too much, you be sitting there and you should be hurting. Uh, you, be feel, you feel uncomfortable because your stomach is full, literally like bloated. Yeah. Like this nigga done stretched his stomach out to like four times its regular. Size. You can tell that nigga know. just a whole bro. That that video was crazy. That shit's crazy, guys. Yeah. Don't support that shit. Man. Yeah, like, I'm I, sorry, I don't think but it's cool. That shit is like yo, like we should support like being healthy. Some guy, <laughs> some guy like, protested on on that. He ran on stage with a sign. Good, and then the guy with the hot dog in his mouth was like, and then he starts choking <laughs> him. <laughs> Starts choking the pro the protester. Yo, so wait, wait, wait. The guy with the hot dog in his mouth choked the other yeah, nigga out. Oh yeah. no, nah, son. And he won the competition. No, yo, listen. Plus first of all, whoever got choked out, bro, <laughs> he by was trying, a nigga he with was a like, hot dog in his he, mouth. He tried to show it, and the guy's like, and he went to fucking choke him with, and he had the hot dog in his mouth. That's a loss. That's an L for life. Yeah, you bro. took a big L, bro. You got choked by a nigga with, with a, a hot wiener, dog in his mouth. With a wiener. With a fucking Oscar Mayer in his mouth. You're bro. a wiener. What the fuck? What's going on in this world nowadays? Yeah, bro. I don't know. I don't get We're it. We're running out of time, though. I don't get it. But listen, guys. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, go over to Patreon. Check us out over there if you haven't done so already. Get yourself some merch. Links in the box. Last but not least, tell somebody you love them. Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace and love. Yeah.